Okay, so here is an update. Uh, what I have done is I went ahead, I just really quickly set up the miter stand, or the miter box rather, just on that temporary stand, uh, because I only had just a few cuts. And again, with the weather, you don't wanna, I don't wanna get too much equipment out. But although the sky is not bad right now, so I've taken the advantage of using a little bit more time. And with that, went ahead, cut all the spreaders down by a half a blade. Uh, the end one where it really was proud, I went ahead and took almost a full blade off and reassembled two screws uh, all the way around on, on anything. But this time I also installed the inside spreaders as well and got that all together. So two screws everywhere around, nothing glued yet. And it is tiny, a tiny bit smaller than the bottom which I'm okay with that. If, if I can't have a perfect match right off, at least uh, it's something that I can sand down. So you can see just down in here, if you can, just a little bit of a reveal. Um, and, you know, so you're talking maybe a sixteenth of an inch or less. And a, a belt sander certainly will take a majority of that down. Uh, and I can palm sand the rest or orbital sand. Uh, the inside or the, the sides have a lot of flexibility. So they'll, you know, in and out a little bit there. Uh, so it's looking good. So I went ahead and threw the tabletop on there just to rest on there. And the tabletop again is looking pretty good. It's uh, slightly, ever so slightly larger. So that one probably was uh, to the exact size. I'm hoping. We'll say that. You know, you how, how are you gonna you gonna come and double check me? <laughs> so uh, and I'll just say the bottom was slightly smaller than it should have been. So therefore, I adjusted my spreaders, and now the tabletop itself is actually the the top surface is just ever so slightly larger. But again, I would prefer that because it's way easier to sand the top and the bottom edges and get that just where you want it. You know, kind of dial it in, if you will, uh, with a sander as opposed to. Um, uh, having to do anything with the sides, especially after it's glued up. And, you know, after it's glued up at that point, maybe just build more sides, I guess. So, anyway, um, really, really happy with this so far. I mean, it's looking like a workbench. Of course, you know, it's, nothing is assembled as far as the sides are not assembled to the bottom or the top. And the top does not have, you know, 3,272,464.7 holes in it yet. However, that is coming up. That'll be, you know, a week of figuring out how to drill all those things. <laughs> So, however, I do have a Forstner bit on the way that I believe is the right size to get me down to the 20 millimeter uh, bench dog holes that will allow me to use a router to actually do all of those with maybe a quarter inch spiral up cut. And, uh, which, you know, I guess with the pattern bit, or not the pattern bit, with the uh, bushing template guide, that that'll decrease my hole size by an eighth of an inch all the way around. So I ordered a 15 16 Forstner bit in. And so that should be here Sunday, tomorrow, thank goodness for Amazon. Uh, apparently either they have restricted, they have lightened the restrictions on immediate shipping uh, and are back to normal, or my Forstner bit is considered essential, as I would. You know, had they called me up and asked me, if it's, is it essential, I would have said, yes, it is. So I use the Forstner bit to make a, hang on, 